friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So recently, I went to America. I took a trip out there for two weeks, and of course, I spent a lot of time at Universal, which is where the wizarding world is in Orlando, and you can go into all of the shops in Diagon Alley and buy things. Now, there's quite a few things that you can get over there, which you cannot get here in England. So of course, I picked a few things up by a few things, I mean, quite a lot of things. <laughs> I could not help myself and I cannot wait to show you what I picked up and I'm just so excited. It was such a good time. I really enjoyed myself. It's definitely my happy place over there. So if you want to know what I picked up, keep on watching and hey, if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you like to be part of our weird magical online family. But let's go because um, there's bags inside bags inside bags. <sighs> Should have left my bank card at home. Where, oh where do I start? I'm gonna take a bag outside of the bag. Okay, so <laughs> we're starting with a very, very exciting thing. I have wanted this for so long. I believe it was discontinued and unavailable to get online here in England, but I rocked up to the Universal store. Bam, that's right. It Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. This is a lounge fly bag. It's a crossbody bag and it is the howler. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, yes, this is by lounge fly. This was $79, but look at it. Look at it. We've got the we Weasley wax seal. When you open it on up, hey, it gets better. Look! <laughs> it's got the actual howler. It says, Ronald Weasley, how dare you steal that car? I am absolutely disgusted. Your father's now facing an inquiry at work and it's entirely your fault. If you put another toe out of line, we'll bring you straight home. Oh, and Ginny dear, congratulations on making Gryffindor. Your father and I are so proud. <laughs> I just love that that's there, that you can just give someone a howler whilst you're walking by. Now, it is a crossbody bag, so you do get a lovely little strap, which I haven't attached just yet. And there's quite nice lining in there. There's a little zip as well, but I have wanted this for so long so when I tell you my eyes lit up like little the little heart eye emoji when I saw this I was so happy let me show you the bit on the back as well it's actually addressed to Ronald Weasley at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry and like how cute like a little and it's in Gryffindor colors and I'm just like yes this is my new bag and I'm so happy about it oh, it's wonderful right what else is in this bag okay I do believe these are some Christmas decorations because the Harry Potter Christmas tree, it's coming, it's coming this year. Okay, let me show you what I found. Oh, oh, it's, it's beautiful. This is the Monster Book of Monsters Christmas tree ornament. It's got the gold lettering, it's got the little eyes, the little teeths. Deeps. This was $25. It's a little bit out there price wise, but it's very well made. The paint job's beautiful. And these are decorations I'm going to be using year after year. And oh, I'd never seen these in England before. Look, there's even the fluffy spine. And you guys know if you want to look into this book and study from it, you got to stroke the spine. So there we go. It's a very, it's a very kind little monster book of monsters because it's happy. So there we have it. There it is. Oh, I love I love it. I love it. I feel like this is just going to be me fangirling over utterly everything. Uh, this one, this one's the sorting hat. This one was also $25. That's usually around the price range of a lot of their ornaments. But look, it's got his little face. We've got all the patches because it's, it's been in use for years now at Hogwarts and it's got this nice little golden hanger and I was just like you know what I can't have a pot of Christmas tree without the sorting hat on it so there we have it now this isn't the last of the Christmas decoration there's some more in other bags which we will get to I'm sure I'm gonna do a Christmas decoration collection for you guys that's right it's coming watch out okay I think these might be more Christmas decorations as well they had so many good ones and ones that I'd just not seen here. So I was just like, well, I can't not get them because what if they don't appear in England? And then my tree is just... <sighs> it, look, it's, it's Hedwig. It's Hedwig. It's a really lovely... 
think it's glass or something similar to glass but it's a little Hedwig now there was a Hedwig decoration that I really wanted to get from the Warner Brothers studio tour in London but they sold out last year so I was like well I need a Hedwig so if I can't get that one I will get this one now this Hedwig was also $25 it's a really nice size it's quite it's quite large and I can't wait to put her in my tree it's a very nice snowy owl not only does this remind me of Hedwig but this also reminds me of Gimli which is one of my my feathery friends if you don't know who I'm talking about go check out the video on here with me showing you Gimli it's oh I love Gimli so much I met him when he was six months old he's a lot bigger now there's some pictures of us over on Instagram as well which you'll be able to find easily so yes yeah, so we've got a little Hedwig or a little Gimli which one was this <laughs> yes ah oh! okay these we definitely do not have here or we didn't last year and I haven't seen them over here so again this one was $25 it's a snowman it's a wizarding world snowman with a gryffindor scarf and there's even a snow owl how did i not notice the snow owl before it's so cute and i was just like they had these in all of the houses so you can get a gryffindor snowman a ravenclaw a hufflepuff or a slytherin i thought that was really nice that you could get them all in the different houses and they actually have a big one of these at universal in hogsmeade at the moment and it's giant it's like full size so it was really nice to have a little decoration so this will definitely remind me of my trip as well and last but certainly not least ah yes I wasn't sure if I was going to buy this one but it's one that I've not seen this one was actually $15 which is surprising because it looks more intricate so this says welcome to Hogsmeade and it's got a nice clear enamel you can see the hog and it's got Hogsmeade down here this is made out of metal it's even got like a chain it's like it's like a little Hogsmeade sign which is quite cool it's on this little silver ribbon but I thought that's nice and it was my first time that I'd actually spent a significant amount of time in Hogsmeade at Universal and I gotta tell you guys Hagrid's the motorbike ride oh my goodness oh my goodness I managed to go on that so many times I think I managed to go on it like three or four times in the end so yeah there it is what a cool decoration so I've got five new magical Christmas tree decorations now I didn't just buy decorations I bought many numerous things Ooh. I actually bought a plushie now you guys may know I'm not the biggest plushie fan I don't really collect plushies I never know what to do with them so I tend to avoid those but how could I say no I was like this is coming out of Christmas he was $22 so he was actually cheaper than some of the Christmas decorations and he's like full size look he's got his little little stick hands he's got his little carrot nose and his Gryffindor scarf and a little witch's hat like <sighs> I love him you guys need to name him something because I just imagined him being kind of out and about at Christmas time maybe in my living room near the Christmas tree or by the log burner don't worry I won't burn you I know you're made out of snow but uh <laughs> yeah I was just like he's so cute oh my god he's got hair I just loved him but yeah we have not got these over here I've never seen the little snowmen in England or at the studio tour and I wish they would again they have these in all of the houses I'm just saying maybe you'll be able to get them online but how could I resist his little his little stick hands and yeah he's coming out at Christmas yes you are boop you on the carrot nose <sighs> okay what else do we have in here we have got okay I went to Weasley's Wizards Weasley's and I got some things I got some things so I've wanted this for so long I want it for my Weasley's Wizards Weasley's shelf uh, say that three times fast this is a decoy detonator that's right they don't sell them over here and I don't know why but yes this actually works so this is a walking and talking decoy detonator toy this was $18.95 yeah so you can put batteries in it and it'll kind of walk around and make some noise and stuff but I I love the box I'm definitely gonna keep the box there is Weasley's wizard wheezies but how cool but yeah I was tempted to get one of these on eBay a long time ago but hey I saw them I completely forgot that I wanted it and I was like oh Oh, they've got the thing they've got the decoy detonator so yes that is added to my collection it's gonna be living on here at some point this is probably one of my favorite sections of my shelves so how could I not now I didn't just stop at the decoy detonator no I did not I also got some ex 
Exploding Snap. Now I haven't seen this product before. I, obviously I've heard about it, but I didn't know that they'd made it. So they have made a card game and you can play it with your other fellow wizards or witches or muggles if you wish. So yeah, it's a fast paced game with explosive possibilities. It says act quickly to get rid of your cards. No taking turns. At any moment, the game may explode and change who's winning. This was $17, so it's a full deck. We've got the exploding snap rules on the top. Oh cool, there's like creatures. And oh, there's gold foiling. Okay, let's take the deck out. So on the back, it all says exploding snap. How cool is that? And then oh, we've got a phoenix, we've got forks, we've got time turn. Oh, as if time turn is on number four. That is my lucky number. I'm. You guys should know that by now, but as if the time turner. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. We've got golden snitches. We've got many things, dragons. We've got the sorting hat. We've got <laughs> an owl. We've got um, a basilisk fang, triwizard cup, um, one pink willow. Oh my God, that's so cool. I'm definitely gonna have to play this with some pals because that's really cool. So these are the exploding snap bombs. Oh, we've got a little, a little buck beak there as well. So yeah, a fun little card game. I thought, you know what? Yes, that is going straight into my games cupboard because yes, I am that person. I love a good board game. I love having friends round and getting out the Harry Potter. I think it's Cards Against Muggles and now I've got Exploding Snap. I've also got Harry Potter Trivia. They're not all Potter games, but I'm making a collection of games. So yes, Exploding Snap, just in case you didn't know that was a thing. Now I did get a pin. This is probably the only pin that I bought, if I remember correctly. I, I got this from a little stand, so it wasn't in a particular shop that I saw this, but I was just like, yes, I need that. It's like the little, the little animatronic Fred and George with the hat outside their shop and I'd not seen it before so there it is it's a really lovely hard enamel pin you do have the bunny under the hat as well uh, this costs $14 which I think is around an average price for these kind of pins but yeah really nice and I was just like I like that one and I love Fred and George so there you go. Right, what else is in here? Ooh. Now I did enter a sweet shop. I actually had a funny experience. It was one of my most memorable experiences bumping into one of you guys. I was literally coming out of, I think it was Sugar Plum's sweet shop and one of you guys opened the door and you were like, oh, and then I was like, oh. <laughs> anyway, it was lovely to meet you. So I did get some sweets whilst I was there. Let me get them out for you. Again, things that you can't really get over here, I don't think. So firstly, I got myself a chocolate cauldron. They also did cauldron cakes, which I didn't actually buy. I think I will get one of those next time I go. But yes, this is a massive solid, chocolate cauldron. I loved the packaging. I love the kind of potion on top with the little sprinkles. This did cost $11, which is probably the most expensive chocolate that I've ever bought. I'm gonna have to save that for a magical time. I just really love the packaging. I really, really liked the packaging. There is a part of me that's like, do I eat it or do I just save it for display? But no, I should eat it. But yeah, so I got that. I also got this liquid candy. So this is a Felix Felicis liquid sweet. And I don't actually know what it is this was also $11 but I definitely bought this more for display purposes I think but I kind of want to try it it's um did it tell you what flavor it is I don't think it does you know but I'm intrigued so I might save this for a day that I really want to feel lucky so that I can you know actually have a little bit of liquid luck but I just thought it's cute there's the label Felix Felicis but it is a sweet and it is edible so this is drinkable if you want to have a little bit of luck in your day last but not least something else that I'd never seen before is an acid pop this was three dollars ninety five and I don't know what flavor this is don't say acid I'm hoping that it's a lime flavor because I really like lime, but it's on a really long stick, which amuses me. But yes, an acid pop. Onto the next bag. Okay, this is probably the biggest sized thing that I bought and I've been wanting one of these for as long as I can remember. <laughs> it's a Weasley's Wizards Wheezy's like 
prank hand. So this was $24.95 and it's like a little plushy shop display. It's like the things that they have in their shop. Now I bought this and I was like, yeah, Weasleys, I love Weasleys, Weasleys, Weasleys. And now I'm just like, this ain't gonna fit on a shelf. I do have a spare shelf at the top. I've currently got Bellatrix's mask up there because I need to find a home for that. That's new to the collection. Uh, it's actually wearable as well. I didn't know that. But yeah, so I got this. It's look, isn't it fun? But yes, it's going to live in here somewhere. But I was just like, you can't get these anywhere other than Universal. I kind of wish that you could like put it on as a glove. I think that would be quite amusing, but it is not wearable. It's kind of like just an end but yeah the finger is also maneuverable so you can bend it around but I'm gonna have it in its classic position so that's that um oh god there's still things oh okay I did get a wand from Ollivander's he didn't choose me this time but last time I went back in 2015 or 2014 I was chosen and this is my wand. So this is the wand that chose me. I did not take this with me. And I was kicking myself when I got there because I was like, I've already got an interactive wand. I don't need another one, but I really wanted to partake in some of the magic that you can do around the parks. Did you know that you could do that? You can stand on these little spell spots and you can use the special interactive ones and it will make stuff happen in the parks. It confuses the muggles, I've got to say, especially the fountain one with the water that plops out. So I did go to Ollivander's and I did pick up another interactive wand and here it is. So with each interactive wand, you do get a full map of Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley and it will show you where all the spells are and what they do. So that's a really useful for map so make sure you keep that for your future trips if you do get one and then this is the wand that I got it was kind of dark I quite liked they, they look like acorn leaves around the wand which I quite liked the nature bit of it but yes that's the wand so I've got two interactive wands now so must make sure next time I go that I do not forget my interactive wand because that would be silly I think this was about $60 it wasn't cheap the interactive ones are not cheap Okay, I think that that is everything. I'm surrounded by bags. I do think that they are all empty now. But yeah, I had a whale of a time and some of those shops are some of my favorite to go in. They're very immersive. The set design of them is chef's kiss. They're so beautiful. My favorite interior is Wiseacre's wizarding equipment. It's so beautiful and I can't even but yeah so that's everything i think my favorite thing i mean i love everything of course otherwise i wouldn't have bought it but i think my favorite thing that i got was this bag and the snowman but the christmas decorations oh my god everything 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 but yes i'm definitely gonna make this my everyday purse because it's so adorable let me know what your favorite thing was that i got from Universal in America. Leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to reply to some of those. But hey, thanks for watching and thank you for like um, enabling my shopping habits by watching. <laughs> right guys, I'm gonna find homes for all of these. Those Christmas decorations are gonna go live with my other Christmas decorations. And yeah, oh, I had such a nice time. I can't wait to go back. All right guys, thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Bye! He still needs a name.